I'm working on refining my uh, gravity light here. Uh, this was the pulley ratchet mechanism that I had on it. But I was putting an awful lot of weight on there. It was kind of dangerous. And um, just wasn't getting uh, as much power as I wanted. So I basically doubled the uh, diameter. So it'll run on half the weight. It'll run half as long, but uh, I'm also going to work things a little different. Instead of trying to make the output match a random bulb I bought in a store, I'm going to try to rearrange it or uh, purchase some LEDs to fit the output of what I made rather than the other way around. I've remade the ratchet. I've reassembled everything. I have considerably less weight on now. The pea gravel weighs. I think it's around 40-50 pounds. And I have a 20 pound weight on there. Um, I've kind of decided to take a different approach. Instead of having a few higher voltage LEDs like I had before, I have some that are from a bathroom light that stopped working. Cut apart the plate that had that small LEDs on. They appear to run on about a little less than 3 volts. But I'm running a whole bunch in parallel so I can run it a little slower and it has more than enough power to light on. So I'm going to try that approach. I've actually ordered some, um, some from China actually and it'll be a few weeks before they come that are much brighter than these. I'm going to just see how many I can get to light in parallel like that at the lower voltage. They seem like they're bright, but they're kind of pinpoint brightness. They end up blinding you more than anything. But uh, I can arrange them in a better way and put them in a bulb, maybe I can get a better dispersal and they'll be a more effective light. Here's a quite quick clip before I start working down another path. I have the original LEDs that uh, are apparently about six fold LEDs. They produce quite a bit of output, but they're all hooked in series. I was able to tap them in a way where I could run two and then three of them. But I can't really run them separately in parallel. So I either have to generate 12 volts or I have to drop, generate around 18 to 20 volts to get them to, to light at a decent brightness. With that, I'm not going to get as much runtime as I want, but I have the reworked uh, pulley here. So I, it is running faster. So just to give an example of what this is going to look like. And it's fairly bright. Not much to see there, but actually I have to wind it down because my wires got tangled, so I just have to let it run out here. Got my wires, put my ropes and stuff. Oops. It's not generating quite enough power all three right now. But when I made this, I made it so I could move them in one notch to test different speeds. I'm just going to get things unwound here so I can uh, rewind it all the way. shortened this a hair. I have 40 pounds of weight plus the bag of pea gravel. 20 volt LED or really 18 volts. Let's see here. Go to you. That's a little power on the capacitor yet.
mixing with this on it. So, redirect and we just push the line inside the bottle. And then on the hand we just The downside of this configuration, although it's working, I'm getting my brightness, I'm getting all three LEDs lit. Well, obviously, it can go brighter, yeah, if we, if we really wanted to. But the point is, oh, geez. Here's the ratchet. What happened was basically the weight was too much for um, the glued layers, and it just split it and tore it apart. Um, I suppose theoretically I could put that back together, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna make a different inside. Make it out of oak. Maybe even explore an alternate winding method. Right now I have to take all the weight off so I can use my uh, pull to rewind it. And, uh, that gets a bit tiresome as well. But, uh